sowing. It's all about reaping. And um, Romans chapter 8 talks real quick. And verse 28 says, And we know all things work together for the good to those that love God, who are called according to his purpose. Here David did evil in his heart, was enticed by the devil, listened to the little whisper, and said, you know what, I'm going to take a census. So he took a census. And when he took the census, he was, God was already mad at him and was already mad at Israel, and then his anger flared up even more. And um, the key was, if you notice, David's heart, and I know that each and every one of us, if we're saved, God speaks to us, and we know when we miss it. So I encourage you, 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to cleanse us all from righteousness. So don't run from God, run to God. But all things work together for the good to those that love him. So what did God do? He stopped the plague. He forgave David. And it says in verse 29 of Romans 8, 29, it says, For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. In other words, he was even then forming David in this type and shadow of Yeshua. And that's what we're constantly, God's trying to do with us. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And what is the great, wonderful thing that the enemies thought, aha, I got David. I got him to do something. I got him off the dead center. And then the key thing was because of what David did was, first off, he repented. He listened to the men of God. He was obedient to what God said. And this is what's so awesome about that th threshing floor that Aruna had. It is the exact same spot where Abraham offered up Isaac. It is the exact same spot where Solomon built the temple. And it is the exact same spot right now where Temple Mount's at. And we know that when Jesus comes back, that's the third temple, and that's going to be the heavenly reign for King Lord, our Lord King Jesus. So don't think that your giving is not important to the Lord, is what I'm trying to encourage you. So I just want to encourage you to give, again, tithe. Yes, that's the starting point. But give. Stretch yourself to give above the tithe. Amen? Amen. Amen.